good morning. I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, my name's Bill Whitesell. I'm the district attorney for Rutherford and Cannon County, the 16th Judicial District. And I'm here uh, along with law enforcement agencies from the 16th Judicial District to make an announcement. In 1984, a young lady by the name of Laura Salmon, a freshman at Middle Tennessee State University was brutally murdered. That case went unsolved until an arrest was made in 2001. The arrest was made by Major Bill Sharp, Sergeant Dan Goodwin to my left, who were detectives with the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department as a result of then Sheriff Truman Jones uh, putting them to work on that case full time. As a result of the success we had in the arrest and prosecution, successful prosecution of that case, uh, Sheriff Jones decided he would form a cold case unit with detectives Sharp and Goodwin. And as a result of that and other detectives with the Sheriff's Department, we were successful in solving and successfully prosecuting several cold cases. Based on that success, we decided that what we had learned in working cold cases could be applied to the judicial district as a whole. And we had an idea to contact all the law enforcement agencies to see if they would participate. And I'm pleased to announce today that we have Sheriff Ronald, uh, Robert Arnold from the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Darrell Young from Cannon County, Chief Kevin Arnold from the Smyrna Police Department, Chief Glenn Chrisman, Murfreesboro Police Department, Chief Mike Walker, the Laverne Police Department, here with us, along with my Assistant District Attorney Paul Newman, to talk to you a little bit about the Rutherford Cannon County Cold Case Coalition. Uh, we believe working as a team uh, that we can bring cases, uh, work those cases, and ultimately solve those cases. And we will be using a uh, room that's been donated by Sheriff Arnold to have a headquarters. Uh, the district attorney's office will be involved in reviewing and working closely with law enforcement on those cases. And depending on what agency has the case, they will be the lead agency. But other, other personnel from other departments will be there to assist, uh, to review, and to give their ideas and opinions on what we can do to ultimately lead to an arrest and successful prosecution. So having said that now, I'd like to turn it over to uh, our law enforcement agencies and I'll start by asking Chief Arnold to step forward and say a few words. Chief Arnold or Sheriff Arnold? Excuse me, Sheriff Arnold. <laughs> uh, well, thank you all for coming out. Uh, this is a great day for law enforcement for the Judicial District, 16th Judicial District. Uh, a collaboration of law enforcement agencies coming together for the victims and the families of these unsolved murders. And uh, I believe this partnership will work very well between our agencies and offices and departments. So I just want to say thank you. Good morning. I'm Glenn Chrisman with Murfreesboro Police. And uh, again, thank you all for taking time from your busy schedules to be here this morning. Uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to not only Sheriff Arnold and his predecessor, Sheriff Truman Jones, and uh, Bill Sharp and Dan Goodwin for the work that they have done to bring uh, focus to cold case uh, investigations, not only the Salmon case that General Weitzel uh, made mention of, but also other cases that they've continued to work during the ongoing uh, ramp up, if you will, of our cold case unit. I think that's a wonderful uh, investigative effort that has been begun, and we look forward to continuing uh, throughout the 16th Judicial District and our respective cities and county uh, that are participating in this. Um, I also want to give a, a great deal of thanks to District Attorney General Bill Weitzel and his staff, J. Paul Newman, for their leadership here because uh, they've recognized that there are victims and victim families uh, who without continued focus on these crimes 
and continued efforts to glean information from our citizens and other people that know things about these homicides, these cases grow cold and, 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 and remain unsolved. So it's their tireless, their relentless focus uh, on serving the victims of these crimes and their surviving family members that I think makes this a laudable cause and one that all of us in law enforcement and public safety support. Uh, Sheriff Arnold said it very eloquently. If we work together as a team, all of the law enforcement partners in Rutherford County uh, in the 16th Judicial District, Cannon County, working with the General, uh, General Weitzel and his staff, I think there's no doubt that we can make a difference and bring uh, some needed closure to these crimes as well as some very much needed closure to the uh, surviving family members. Uh, you may or may not be aware uh, of some developments in a case that now is about, I think, 17 months old. Uh, earlier this morning, uh, the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department FAST team working with Murfreesboro Police and our lead investigator, uh, Jim Abbott, were able to uh, bring a gentleman in for questioning that was believed to be involved in a homicide that occurred in Murfreesboro um, on March the 9th of 2012. The victim in that case uh, was a gentleman by the name of Ellis Wayne Smith. Uh, this morning we were able to bring a suspect in by the name of Michael Edward Tussie, T-U-S-I-E. Uh, he was interviewed and has been charged with uh, second-degree homicide in that case. Now, this was a case that was continuing to be investigated by members of our staff, and Detective Abbott uh, works tirelessly in those cases as well as many others. Um, and so it hadn't received the full attention of a cold case investigation yet, but it certainly qualified as, as that type of investigation that was waiting on new information and new leads. So. Uh, we're thankful that there's been positive movement in that case and that we have a suspect in custody uh, and is being charged and held accountable for that homicide. But that is an illustration of the type of uh, closure and the type of ongoing focus that we want to place on all of these cold cases. So uh, having said that, thank you all for being here to bring attention to this issue. Thanks again to our district attorney and his staff and all the members of our law enforcement staff that are making this possible. And again, a big thanks to Bill Sharp and Dan Goodwin for the work that they've done to get us to this point. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kevin Arnold. I'm the chief of police in Smyrna. Just wanted to briefly mention that unfortunately, the Smyrna Police Department will not be able to provide a detective to this task force, but with saying that, every resource that we have available at the Smyrna Police Department will be provided this, to this task force strictly to bring closure to these families and at the same time attempt to get suspects in front of a court. Thank you very much. I'm Darrell Young, Sheriff of Cannon County, and uh, I look forward to working with this task force. I'm unfortunate enough to, I can't provide a full-time investigator to this division, but everything we have and able to give, we will donate to it. Thank you. I'm Mike Walker, Chief of Police at Laverne Police Department. And I noticed this weekend in one of the uh, local papers, there was a lady who had lost a son who son disappeared in 1998, and she just recently gained closure. It wasn't the closure she said she'd asked the good Lord for, but at least now she knows what happened to her son. He apparently disappeared in Nashville and uh, was the victim of a murder. So there comes another cold case that's been uh, resolved at least for a family to know what transpired. One of the cold cases we have, many of you have uh, assisted us in getting information out, the University of Tennessee uh, and also Louisiana State Universities both did facial recognition uh, rebuilds for us and they came out very, very similar. But we still have a murder uh, from several years ago that is not solved and we have not identified who that victim was. So there's some family out there somewhere where a mother, father, a child, a sibling, a grandparent 
that has no clue what happened to their daughter or granddaughter, etc. And hopefully someday with the help of this group, and they've already, uh, some of them looked through this case, we'll be able to find out and make a determination at least who that victim was and be able to provide a proper burial and provide at least some closure. None of us here have the staff to do everything we need. None of us are overstaffed, so we have to work together. And this group does on a regular, continual basis. And I say thank you not only to all of the law enforcement representatives that are here, uh, the chiefs and sheriffs, uh, but also to General Weissel and Jay Paul for taking uh, the step up to bring us all together for a task force. Laverne cannot provide full time, but we will support. We will do anything we can and we'll We'll provide manpower on a periodic basis when needed, and we'll do all we can to ensure that these families who have no clue what happened to their loved one can at least have some closure in knowing that uh, justice has been brought. It was great news Chief Christman gave us this morning because that's one more family that can rest at ease. Thank you. And uh, now I'd like to ask Paul Newman to step up. Paul will probably uh, deal with the vast majority of these cases, if not all of them, and I just want him to give you a brief uh, summary of how we intend for this to work. As the various chiefs and sheriffs have noted, uh, resources uh, are hard to come by, and we have determined that the best way to do this is as a team. And uh, every now and then, maybe another officer from another department will have the opportunity to work or take a look or maybe run down a lead for us. So Paul, if you'd come up and kind of uh, explain how we envision this working and then we'll end the conference. Thank you. My name is J. Paul Newman. I'm an assistant district attorney here. Uh, as he said, this is going to be teamwork, but the most important part of the team is going to be the community. Uh, there are people in the community that do have information concerning unsolved homicide and other serious cases. We're going to ask them to contact the law enforcement officers and the law enforcement agencies uh, and to give them that information. Right now, the only website that is set up uh, to handle anything is the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office Cold Case Unit. We anticipate within hopefully a month having a cold case website set up uh, where it can be with the district attorney's office. We encourage anybody who has any information concerning any unsolved case to contact law enforcement or contact the DA's office. Our office number is 898-8008. The way that this will probably work is that we will be screening all the cold cases and collecting all of them, going through and see which ones are the most promising as far as being able to be solved. Then we will contact the agencies and we'll have the agencies furnish us a lead detective and then any other member of any law enforcement agency as part of this coalition who wants to work on that case will be invited to come and work on it. They can gain experience, they can learn how to investigate cold cases. We also conduct cold case seminars so that they can learn that. But that's basically how it's going to be set up. But for now, we would ask that anybody has any information about any unsolved homicide to contact law enforcement and give them that information. Thank you. Again, thank you for being here. We'll be happy to answer any questions uh, uh, that you might have, but uh, we appreciate it and we look forward to working with all of these agencies and hopefully have continued success.